Okay, let's comb it out. He probably is gonna be scared. Jariah. Jariah. You gonna be scared, Papa? No. No? You're not gonna be scared? No. Okay, good. So I am back at home and I still didn't get a haircut. This is my second time going to the same barbershop to get my haircut. First time I went, everybody left before it was closing time and there was still customers sitting there. And it was like, nah, I'm supposed to leave like 30 minutes ago, I gotta go. So I can't cut nobody else's hair. And then it was only one person left in the barbershop trying to cut everybody's hair. So I ended up leaving that time and this was like, the second time that I had been in the barber shop, and this was the second time they had did that same exact shit. So I said, okay, this time I'm gonna go early. I went as soon as they opened. They opened at 10, I was in the door at 10.02. And when I tell you these people still do not have like a system to where they are calculating, okay, walk-ins versus appointments. They don't have no way of verifying walk-ins versus appointments. And they're just putting people in their chair fucking randomly. And unfortunately enough, I wasn't the random picks and I was sitting there for a long ass time with my kids and I'm really frustrated because um, I wanted to get my fucking haircut and then I got my kids haircut and then their haircuts aren't even as good as what they could have been. So needless to say, I have to find me another other barbershop. <sighs> so yeah, that's pretty much how my morning went, trying to get their hair cut. I mean, it looks a little bit better than, than what it was prior to them getting any haircut at all. But I'm um, very disappointed with the service at the um, barbershop that I went to and I am going to be linking them down below to let everybody know in Round Rock, don't fucking go to them because they have poor quality, poor customer service. They are not organized and um, yeah, I won't be going back. Will not be going back. There's only one person in there that has a sense of customer service and that was the guy who cut my hair the first time. And then when I went in there today, there was two girls and then two guys working. And there was a black guy, a Latino guy, two Latino women. The black girl, the black guy was getting the people in and out. <laughs> like he cut like 10 people hair in the time that I was sitting there versus the other three were taking forever for the simplest fucking haircuts. But okay, I digress. Um, we're back home, I'm on the clock. Just had my first call. Um, these kids are about to take a nap very soon. So yeah, I'm just ready to go ahead and get off. Get off, get off, get off. And relax. Yeah. 
So for dinner tonight, you guys, I did another Grubhub order. I ordered from my favorite Jamaican restaurant. I got the mac and cheese with the Jamaican cabbage, rice and peas, some um, jerk chicken and plantains. And I also got the kids like a little beef patty to share. Zuri is all. Zuri is already eating and the baby is asleep still from a nap. So he'll be eating very soon. But yeah, that's what we having for tonight. I gotta get back in the habit of cooking. Eating outside. Yeah, so we decided to just come bring our food on the balcony. The baby is awake and he is whining. You ready to eat, Papa? No. No. So yeah, he's he's eating this rice. It has some chicken in there and then the mac and cheese. That macaroni and cheese was good. I love macaroni and cheese. Yeah, that was the kind of cheese or the kind of macaroni and cheese that grandma makes. The mom makes it, and grandma makes it again. I'm gonna tell grandma to make the macaroni and cheese again. Mm -hmm. So today I was able to go ahead and leave a whole review for that barbershop that I went to earlier and I must say that I feel good after I vented all my frustrations out on the review and gave them a one star but yeah um, so my hair didn't get cut like I said the hair the kids their haircut is okay or whatever um, I did find another place on Google that I'm looking forward to trying out and I will let you guys know how that goes but um yeah school starts in what what's today today's monday so it starts on wednesday i was able to also do a sheet in order for him and her i got them some clothes and i got her some some of those little hair accessories but it's like the headbands with the little cat ears and stuff like that so i got her some of them so hopefully the clothes fit her because I know she in sizing versus, you know, US sizing is a little bit different, but hopefully everything fits good. And we don't have to like do a return or anything like that because I picked out a lot of cute stuff. Um, we just gonna sit out here on the balcony for a little bit. I'm probably gonna play Tune Blast on my phone and then um, we'll go inside and get ready for bed. Take showers and get ready for bed. Because yeah, I have to work in the morning. So that's what that's what the rest of the day is looking like. Dry, are you ready to take a bath? No. No. No? Dry. You want some more food? No. Dry, you want some candy? No. I want candy. Dry, you want ice cream? I want no. ice cream. Dry. You wanna go bye bye? No. no. My lip is red because I had some skin on there and I peeled it off with my teeth instead of just moisturizing. But yeah, I'll come back um, in a second to check on y'all. Bye. All right, you guys, that is it for tonight's vlog. I hope you enjoyed spending time with us. We will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. Say bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. <laughs> Say bye. <laughs> no? Okay. Bye.